So the Taoism, they said there are two kinds of orgasm in the world. <coughs> One kind of orgasm we call an outward pole orgasm. One kind of another orgasm we call the inward pole orgasm. The outward pole orgasm is this. You pull all the orgasm out and you finish. But the inward pull orgasm different. The real pull orgasm is you will have the orgasm non-stop and last so long and you bring back the best energy you have to build your body and you recycle that energy. See? In the Tao system they have a uh, three shadow and one dip and nine sh six shadow and one dip or nine shadow and one dip. The number is quite long time ago. Because the Tao Master discovered the G spot. Now, one of the Germans discovered the G spot. And now, scientists, they started it again and said there's no G spot again. <laughs> so the lady lose the G spot again, right? <laughs> but the G spot means a place very sensitive for a lady. Okay? But apparently, the thousand they said a lady has more sensitive part in between two to three inches from the from the front inside there. So they have a number. Three shadows and one dip is like this. Left is one, but don't go deep. Left, right, and from the top down to the bottom. So, so the vagina like this, so they trust in the way of left, left, right, and the top to the bottom. So you activate all the sensitive part in the outside here. And one dip means you go all the way deep in. And you come out again, left, right, top to bottom. If six shadow, you go away again. One, two, three, one, two, three, and dip. Nine shadow, the same is in left, right, bottom. When you go into the, from the bottom down, from the top to the bottom, you activate this, the two things. One is the crystallis. When you go out, this, when you go from the top this way and go up this way. A lot of time, the, uh, the G spot is right on the top. And the only one way to do is go on the top this way, go, and you turn back again this way, you're touching on the top. So that's how the number comes. In the final, the number nine go in. That is the time you can activate and arousal the energy. Okay? We don't talk about arousal the energy because a lot of preparation you already know, like the kissing, breath, and get the energy ready. Okay. Now we go into a changing energy, and we are going into a big draw or the orgasmic upward draw. The big draw and the orgasmic upward draw is involved with how you're going to be. So the big draw will not, when you, when you do the big draw for men, uh, you're not going to be um, just all the catching and tightening on the hand in the sexual intercourse, okay? And that is for solo practice. It's not that when you get near orgasm, you say, hey, stop, let me do this. <laughs> 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 and you no need to clean your teeth, remember. If your partner's tongue is in your mouth, <laughs> and you clean your teeth, <laughs> you're going to get trouble with your partner, okay? And uh, now, when you have sex, when you're ready, lady have to be ready. And when men get near ejaculations, you have to know your timing. You have to know your timing. Don't go beyond the point of no return. You should go about 85, play, play safe first. Okay? And um, when you get near orgasm, the man should be stopped and pull out a little bit. So whether you pull out a little bit and chew yourself up a little bit. And that's the place the energy can exchange from the top, the gland, and the G-spot, we call the sensitive part. The energy can exchange from here. So now the man will pull up, enough pull up, uh, contract, draw energy up to the head. Enough draw energy up to the head. Because of the orgasm energy that you have here, you draw the energy up to the head, you are transfer the orgasm energy, ship the orgasm energy from one place to another place. That is the most beautiful part. You can 
All you know, all you want is orgasm, right or not? It's not ejaculation. It's the people come mixing all up what, what ejaculation and orgasm. You want orgasm, you don't want ejaculations. As I said, if the nature don't give orgasm only or ejaculation, we don't enjoy sex. Nobody want it. But we call the orgasm. That's why hook up so tight in the sex. The energy changes, everything changes. Now, when you ship this orgasm energy up, but because the orgasm energy is made up of what? Combined of what? Everybody? Brain. Brain? Seconds. Senses. 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 And organs. Right or not? When your kidney is weak, you can't have fully sex. When the liver is weak, you cannot have full sex because the energy cannot give, the organ cannot give the energy. Now when you draw this orgasm energy back into the body, you know what happened? This energy will fortify and enhance and rebuild or repair or creating a new energy for you. So the first thing we call a brain orgasm. You're going to feel the brain light blow so beautiful energy. So the first thing we call brain orgasm is in well gland orgasm also. The energy go up to the brain and first thing go into the pineal and feel the orgasm right open in the head. Okay? And the brain and the energy will fill the, the pineal gland first, pituitary gland, thyroid, thymus, and all the gland. It fill up all the gland. And you're going to feel the orgasm so beautiful right in the head. And when man pull up, in a pull up, in a pull up, in a pull up, in a pull up, draw the orgasm in the head. When man exhale, lady will feel hot energy go out. That's the time lady will do the big draw. In up, squee, in up, pull up, squee, and pull up. If lady do first, usually man cannot control and it will be ejaculations. So man, when near orgasm, inhale, push down push to the testicle, try to drop the testicle down. Usually in the between, you should try to drop the testicle down. And when you near orgasm, push down, hold for a while, and you control, in up, up, in up, up, in up, up, in up, up, transfer the energy up. So when the lady feel the energy, lady do the big draw. So the lady will do the big draw, <coughs> draw the energy up. Lady can multiply the orgasm. So we call the orgasm upward draw. So you ship the orgasm in this area. In the normal, the orgasm is going to pour out. And you disappear. And no more. But in this way, you ship the orgasm upward. So your orgasm up into the brain. If you compare the sexual organ and this part, it's no comparison. Right now. It's so small here. And the brain is bigger. And you, the brain and the senses need orgasm also. You see? And what we hook on now in the whole world, they try to orgasm your senses. And that's why we send so, money, so much money. When we don't say orgasm, that right? But you say, oh, the, the film is so nice to watch. It makes your, your eyes orgasm. When you listen to the music, oh, the music is so good. Because it makes your ear orgasm. Now, Resting period is the most important part. Resting period. So both of you rest. If you do microcosmic together, just flow the energy, moving around, flow the energy, exchanging energy. It can through the eye, through the tongue, or through the breath, and through the sexual organs. So energy moves in the microcosm. And when you feel that you are, the man is started to lower down, and you go on again. When you get near it, uh, orgasm again, you pull up the same thing again. You have pull up, you have pull up, and draw the orgasm now. The next time you have to go the energy, draw the energy up to the senses orgasm. The senses orgasm. The senses orgasm is beautiful. People are so, the more you drain out yourself, the less you enjoy life. And you need so much, we call it so empty. When you're more empty, the people is more empty themselves, the more they need something to stimulate outside. It never end. They never look, never end. The more they empty, the more they're looking for. 
Because when the people lose sexual energy, their senses are more empty. Very, very empty. And they are so empty, they won't look something for. When you move the senses orgasm back, we have many people now report to us that once they experience the senses orgasm, they keep up drinking, they keep up drug, they keep up smoking. You know why? Because they experience certain type of better thing than the smoke. The people cannot keep up smoke because they cannot find something better than smoke. When they find the orgasm senses so good in the sense, so nice in the sense, they don't want to disturb that. And just give it up. In that moment, they say, hey, why I need smoke? Why I need marijuana? Why I need alcohol? Sunday they think, hey, this energy is must give me more mass fulfillment and give me more energy. And they give it up. And many people are like that, believe me. Because they started to fulfill, satisfy the senses and they give it up. The next one is the kidney orgasm. Kidney orgasm. The kidney orgasm is involved with the left and right anus. So that's why it's so very important. And the kidney orgasm, you must general the kindness. If you don't general the, generate the kindness, you will generate the fear. So that's why in the book, we very clear that when men ejaculations, you must put the hand on the kidney and they will not lose fear. Lady, have to. Otherwise, the men lose fear and lost interest for a while and they just the energy turn off, they drain the energy out. Now, when men get near orgasm on the third time, that means every time you start, you have to stop. If you tomorrow or next day you start, you start over again, one, two, three, and go to the kidney. Every time you start with the brain orgasm, the gland orgasm, and the senses orgasm, and the kidney. Another week you start over again, you start over like this. Okay? So your, your sexual act is going to be last longer and longer and longer. Kidney orgasm, you have to producing gentleness. Okay? So when you produce the gentleness, so when you get near orgasm, the man get near orgasm, you have to draw the sexual energy, orgasm energy to the perineum, and you have to the left anus toward the left kidney. You have to the right anus toward the right kidney. If you do iron church qigong, do you know it, that we did it in the kidney. And you're gonna f and you draw the orgasm right into the kidney, and you're gonna experience a certain type of orgasm. So we call our kidney <coughs> orgasm. It's beautiful, soft, nice energy happen, gentleness energy develop. And when you rest, the woman draw the energy to the kidney and experience the kidney orgasm, and rest and changing energy. Beautiful. The next one is liver orgasm. Liver. You need to produce a, produce a kindness energy. Again, you have to pull up on the right hand, right anus over to the liver and try to feel the kindness producing. Once you sexual intercourse, they are producing so much energy. Incredible energy, believe me. This energy is so much all over. If you don't know how to direct them, you're going to disperse the energy. And the next one, so exchange all the time. When you rest, the lady do it. And rest, exchanging energy, microcosmic. And the, four, the fifth one is the lung and the spleen energy. You pull up on the left side all the way to the spleen. Okay, the spleen in the back. You feel certain type, a different energy. Every time you put to one organ, you have a different energy. Okay? And the woman do the same. When man rest, the woman do and the changing energy. Usually you go in one or two or three, it's a lot already. If you can go next, neck, it's very beautiful. If you need to heal one organ, you can use that. One particular organ. And you bring the energy directly into the organs. And you can heal them. That is what in the olden time they use very beautiful, very powerful, directly healing. So they call healing love. The healing, the loving power, the sexual power is the best healing power you have. Because the, the orgasm energy is the best energy you can have. 
The next one is the lung energy. It's the courage, beautiful courage energy. So you need to put left and right energy. When, you, when men get near orgasm, you now put front, middle, left and right, inhale, inhale, up to the lung. And feel the orgasm flow into the lung. Beautiful. And you feel the courage. Otherwise, you're going to feel sadness and depression. In either way, you have to build. Otherwise, if you put in a good energy, you get good energy. Now, so when the people fall in love, the energy multiplies so much. When the people hatred, the sexual energy is no fun at all. Is right? When the people so hate each other, you cannot have sex. The energy multiplies so much, and it's just, just gone. You don't, cannot go in. Because the attitude come together is different already. The seven is the heart. That is the one we're waiting for. Love. We know it, when people love each other, we multiply the love. We multiply the energy to be love. So when the people fall in love, you know what happened? When they come in, make love, they're producing so much love, they can love everything in the whole world. No? So much love. So that's what we call make love for. And you can direct the energy to heal anything you want. It's so powerful. Now, this is N1 level. The next level we call soul orgasm. Which, oftentimes, when you get to this level, you can choose to have sex or no sex, or physical contact or no physical contact. So, is the soul orgasm is involved with that? Uh, involved with you have to practice the fusion to develop to develop a soul body, and you will project the soul body. So you will project the soul body up the soul body so you project when you have sex you project the soul body out and they meet in the middle so the orgasm is right happening in the middle of the space right in the middle of the space but you need to practice soul body you need to condense and build another body we call their soul body or energy body we do in fusion one and that is called a soul orgasm the soul orgasm. And the next one is a spiritual orgasm, a spiritual, the third body. You need to develop into a lesser kindly to de develop a soul body. In olden times, some of the Tamas, they don't want the people to say them practice sex, and so forth. So, a Tamas in one mountain, another lady Tamas in another mountain, and at, a, at, at night, they know the time, say, okay, we're going to go practice so in a different place. They project the energy out in the mid plane, and they meet together, and they go. And they go to a higher plane and practice. And they come back, they separate back again. It's happened a lot in China. They do this way. And in that way, they're not involved with sex at all. But all the energy that they practice is come from the sexual energy, condensed to the body, and go out. And that is the, the sexual practice. That's all for the sexual practice. All you have to do is know what you're doing and what is the sexual energy <coughs> and how to draw the sexual energy up, how to retain the sexual energy, and how to multiply the energy. Thank you. <laughs>